Have a great time. going on beautiful people in today's video I am going to show you step by step how to make your website super super fast but I mean super fast I mean super fast you see this website my website the MMS experience.com your loading time was 11.3 seconds or 11.8 seconds before I applied the things that I'm going to show you and I took it down to 2.3 seconds that's now the loading time okay you see here all the the lights are green and I optimize the website in such a way that now it only loads in 2.3 seconds now what if you see this other website I have not optimized this website fully and so now it's 7.8 seconds and you see the difference between a website loading in 2.3 seconds and another one loading in 7.8 seconds you see the difference is huge so what are the benefits of having a fast website well there are multiple benefits okay you have higher search ranking again since 2012 there has been a signal in google search ranking site speed which reflect how quickly your website responds to web request okay speeding up website is important you also have to improve the visitors the visitor experience okay the user experience and that's another important thing that Google takes into account when deciding deciding to rank your website first or second or third and also you have a better developer experience and higher revenue because they convert people convert faster for example according to this study 78% of users said that they felt stress or anger while using a slow website 44 percent of them say that slow online transaction make them anxious about the success of the transaction and four percent have thrown their phone while using a slow mobile website okay so people are more impatient today than they were maybe 10 years ago so they want pages to load faster and you know it enhances the user experience as a whole so they come back to your website now I'm gonna show you step by step how to actually make your website fast and get it to 2.3 seconds and we are going to cover uh, a lot of things now before we we get into the video let me show you another like statistic that you need to know like a website that take for example one to three seconds the probability of the bounce rate increases 32 percent okay as the page loads time goes from one to five seconds the probability of the bounce rate is 90 percent from one to six seconds is 106 percent and from one second to 10 seconds it's 123 percent as you can see there's an exponential growth in the bounce rate as people as it takes longer for your site to be delivered in front of people we are going to make sure that we eliminate all the unnecessary things on your website that make your website load slower usually when you create a website there are a lot of what we call bloat there are a lot of things that the script that the page does not need to be loaded that you need to remove to make your website faster and another thing that we're going to do we're going to learn how to reduce the file size of the actual page okay things like re resizing the picture so that they actually load faster and we're also going to make sure that your page delivers quicker to the end user by doing what by learning how to cache your website I don't want to waste your time we're going to go we're going to try this website logician.com we're going to try to reduce the load time first you will need to learn how to read what we call a waterfall meaning a waterfall are all the things that are loaded on your website after someone requests your website to be seen I want to show you in this website exactly how to see what are the things that are loaded when someone opens your website or when someone requests to see a page on your website now if you have Chrome brow the Chrome browser you just open for example the home page of your website on Chrome okay and you type F12 okay you press F12 you come here on sources on sources this is your website and these are all the things from the plugins to the scripts that are loaded but this this is not where it's important you come here under network under network what you do is that you press again control 
are as you can see here now you reload your website sort of display what we call a waterfall waterfall sort of gives you as you can see here it took it takes about 2.12 seconds to load the actual website and now as you can see here the rest take about zero milliseconds to be loaded okay so overall my website takes about two seconds now pay attention here you can see exactly everything that's being loaded on this page you point the mouse for example on it served from the memory cache and it's 12 kilobyte you can see for example you can see the type the type is a picture picture and then you have the strip loaded and you can also have the font loaded okay now you have the documents and you can see the exact size the question is how do you actually do that how do you actually make your website faster how do you control what's loaded now let's get into let me show you step by step let's go into the back end of the website so if you are in wordpress you will need to be in wordpress because if you're on another web hosting platform if you have something else like wix i cannot help you because i don't know how wix works but if you have wordpress let me show you exactly how to do that first to reduce unnecessary bloating on your website to unload what's not necessary because every time you install plugins and you have about 33 plugins active on your website you have a lot of those plugins that are loaded actually every time someone requests to access this page for example a lot of those plugins are loaded and so some are unnecessary to be loaded on this page but they will still load anyway so you need to control for example to deactivate how they are loaded how do you do that you need one plugin it's called asset cleanup so if you go under plugin add new it is a wonderful plugin it allows you to clean up the web page to clean up the asset the unnecessary asset that are loaded on the page now if you install and activate once you've installed and activated asset cleanup the first thing that you do is that you come down here on your left side okay on the menu right here and then you click on setting asset cleanup and settings here what you want to do is that you want to you want to come here optimize css and optimize javascript now first you want to come here you click on optimize css so here to activate this one and activate this one because what will it do it will combine the loaded file okay you will help reducing the number of http request that is made on your website okay so for example if you look at this it's 65 okay because i have optimized the number of requests into one before because if you don't optimize the number of requests will go to like 100 or 120 and that will take a lot longer to up to fulfill all those requests and see the other thing what this does as well the csl file minification is that it helps decrease the total page size and remember we said that it's important for you for your page to be light in terms of size to be loaded faster so this does that okay so you want to make sure you activate those two and you want you also want to make sure you come on optimize javascript and you see you activate those two as well okay it helps decrease the page size even further and this one helps reduce the number of javascript http requests because it would combine them into fewer files okay after you have done that let me show you what to do next what you want to do next is that you want to make sure you update all settings I always want always make sure you update all settings the next thing you want to do is that you now want to go on your page pages all pages and you want to make sure you go on the home page and it's, if it's if it's edited with elementor which is most likely the case you don't click on edit with elementor you click here on edit instead okay when you click on edit you don't click here on edit with elementor you just scroll down scroll down here now you will have asset cleanup so if i if i put that like this and i unroll and i roll back you see you have 
if you roll back you have now asset cleanup will show you everything that is loaded on the page and it will allow you to control that everything in the back end so let's go step by step do i need elementor on the page yes then i don't i will not unload if you scroll down you just leave all the box that's elementor everything that's elementor elementor you leave it you do i need ocean extra yes do i need this q2w3 fix widget no i don't because it serves on a sidebar and i don't have sidebar on the home page so i will unload this on the home page only see if you click here on load site wide it will unload on your site and you will not be able to use it anymore but i only want it to be unloaded here sticky menu yes because my home page needs to have a sticky menu wp form no i am not trying to collect the form you see this is loaded even if i don't need it see and this this plugin allows you to control all that so you just unload again you continue ocean wp that's from theme you don't want to mess up with that so you just keep scrolling you keep scrolling you keep scrolling you move on you move on you move on you see on this website i don't have a lot loaded okay i don't have a lot loaded let me show you another example you see in this case on the mms experience website i have unloaded a lot more things because i have a lot more plugin installed and so a lot more plugin are loaded on the home page that i don't need so for example i have unloaded this one because it's it's just a plugin that's used on the post page i have unloaded this one q2w3 i have unloaded reading progress bar because i'm not using it i have unloaded that as well i have unloaded sticky side button because i don't want that on the home page i have unloaded wordpress popular post because it serves as a sidebar and i don't have a sidebar on the home page i have unloaded that this plugin as well you see i have unloaded a lot more things and so after you've unloaded everything you need always make sure you go here and you click on update and so the next thing that you do if we come here under gt metrics and we retest the website as you can see now what do i have i went from seven seconds to 4.7 seconds with 38 requests instead of 63 okay you go on gtmetrics.com okay Pay attention to what I'm showing you. I'm showing you everything that can help you. So please make sure you smash like button, you subscribe because this is real value. A lot of people build like $1,000 course in order for you to have this type of value that I'm providing you for free. And these are years of experience trying different things that I'm showing you for free. So make sure you smash like button, you subscribe. Now we are going to go even further, okay? because now i have a 92 percent here but we're not we don't care about the percentage here we care about the load time and the number of requests now we went from seven that's three seconds gain okay amazing now let's move on to the next thing here it says the problem i have a problem of leverage browser caching okay so what you want to do is that you want to go on your website on the plugin you click on add new and you type here leverage browser caching this is a plugin that you need to install it said it will fix the leverage browser caching issue you install now next thing that you want to do if we go back and we retest again what do i have what do i have isn't that magic didn't i just go from seven seconds to two seconds do you know how much conversion important that is do you know five seconds that five extra second it takes to loading do you know how many people will bounce off your website now we went from 7.3 seconds to 2.2 seconds in a matter of um, in a matter of a few minutes just showing you Im impressive stuff okay so you want to make sure you apply everything that I show you on this channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out future videos. Now, I want to show you another thing that I already installed on this website that you probably don't have. Another important plugin and it's this, it's WP Optimize. If you go here on the plugin and you click on add new. And you, this one you install you activate 
it basically has three main functions it allows you to for to sort of optimize the size of your images for free it allows you to create what we call caching and it allows you to minify a lot of stuff so if for example you click on images and you see first it has a function that allows you to compress automatically newly added images for free and compression is important because if for example you've downloaded this large picture somewhere and you import that on your website and it's one megabyte it will increase the load size of the load size of your page okay so you want to make sure you add this automatically compressed newly added images so what it will do is that it will compress in the background to give you the optimal size uh, increase between it will choose between the maximum compression and the best image quality let's go on the cache function okay if you go on the cache see here i have already enabled page caching what is page caching like i said this allows you for example if you are sleeping and someone is knocking at your door then it, that your page is on cash for example it means that you will need to wake up walk being tired and then go open the door it takes a longer time but then if your page is cash it's like you're just right behind the door waiting for someone to, to knock and you just open the door that's the advantage of having a page cache somewhere okay so if you come here for example on preload function this if you click here on run now you will cache the site by visiting the pages and preload them so that they are ready the first time a human visitor wants them you see you see how this is powerful and then make sure you click on save changes the next thing that you want to do is that on the page that you want to load faster you need to make sure that all your images are really increased in terms of sizes now let me show you how to do that if you come here instead of gt metrics you come here on uh, page speed insight it's a google so you basically go on google on page speed insight okay and you click here on this first result and you type here your web page url and you click on analyze so these are sort of the result of the analysis you want to come here under serve image in next gen format what this does is that it allows you to up like google has a i don't know if it's a plugin or a service but it actually takes the images on your website and give you suggestion on how you can actually import optimize images okay so for example if you instead of having this image on your website if you click if you download this one and you import it on your website you are saving 29 kilobyte which reduces the load time on your website if you use this image instead you're saving 18 kilobytes so what you want to do and for example this one you're saving 8 kilobytes so what you want to do for example is that you want to click on the image right click you open that in the new tab and you right click that and you download you download that somewhere and you save you do the same You download that somewhere and then next what you want to do now is that you want to go back on the page click on edit with elementor now you want to import those new optimized images that google suggested and i click here you click here right here you click on style and you click choose image upload the new images that you just saved on your computer you pick this one and you just click on insert media you do the same here and you do the same on all your images you will realize that when you come back and click on retest that will decrease further the load time why because now it will, it will reduce the total page size to something smaller see now we have a 0.1 second gain we went from 2.2 to 2.1 which is not bad so you can even optimize further like that and reduce your load time to like milliseconds if for example you go on a page like neilpatel.com you see as soon as you click on it you request it elote because he took time to really optimize everything on his website 
with less images that take a longer load time and he only has like text very simple landing page but that loads very fast and that keeps the customer satisfied okay so these are the tips that i wanted to show you today again apply everything that i am showing you and you will realize that your website will load a lot faster so i show you everything that can help you from instagram growth to facebook growth to facebook ad to e-commerce drop shipping affiliate marketing everything that can help you if you think this was helpful please make sure you smash the like button you subscribe and until next time i hope you're safe take good care of yourself peace and don't forget to smash like and subscribe thank you